This video shows you how to connect to a ClickSense app on the ClickSense server and how to distribute reports to the ClickSense hub. After you create a click and printing app, you can create a source connection to a ClickSense app. To connect to a ClickSense app, you must first create a source connection in click and printing. A connection defines the origin of the data for reports, filters, and tasks. Enter a name for the connection. From the drop-down list, select the app you've just created. Now, enter the proxy address and the Sense app ID. You can find this information by opening the ClickSense app to which you want to connect. In the address bar, the first part of the address is the ClickSense machine name, which you will enter as the proxy address. The app ID is located at the end of the address name. In the proxy address field, enter the ClickSense machine name. Insert the app ID and then insert the Windows domain name and the username of the ClickSense administrator. Now that your connection is created, set up the ClickSense hub as a destination. Insert a name and enter the central node address for the ClickSense hub. Once your connection is created, you can prepare a report using ClickSense data. In this example, you can see the creation of a simple report made by adding two images taken from ClickSense. Once you have created your report, you can create a task to publish the report on the ClickSense hub. Enter a name for your report, and then select the app from the drop-down menu. Click Create. Add the report to this task, and then choose an output format. Next, add a user to the task. The user must be a Windows domain user who has been configured in both Click and Printing and ClickSense. Under Destinations, select Hub. If you select Upload for All, reports can only be viewed in the ClickSense Hub by users who are configured to see them. Run the task manually and then open the ClickSense Hub to view your published report. This is your published report. You can open it directly from ClickSense. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.